Hi, it's Sarah here from Crafting and Stamping and I'm back with another quick tip. And my tip today is one that I've actually shared before but using different dies. And the dies that I used last year um, sometime were a set of wreath dies. The idea is exactly the same. What we're going to do is take a frame. This week I've been using the Eden dies which is a great set of dies because we've got a border, we've got a sentiment label, we've got a large frame, we've got a small frame and we've got this little leaf as well. And we're going to, we're actually going to use the large frame on this card, but we're also going to use the small frame and we're going to jigsaw puzzle it. So I've already die cut this out from, as you can see, both Calypso Coral uh, and also Basic White. Just got some bits from the die cutting. Um, and I'm just going to pop out when I can find my take a pick tool. Here we are. The last little bits, there's a couple of little bits that haven't popped out of here. So we'll just do that. And like I say, we're going to jigsaw puzzle this so that we have a darker frame around the white sentiment panel. And if you can hear some noise, it's my dog snoring underneath the craft table, I'm afraid. He likes to be in here with me. So this is our basic white piece that we're going to pop into here. Uh, not that way around, that way around. So that's one trick, getting it to go the right way. And there we are. So that is how it's going to go onto our card, like that. That gives us a nice white area for stamping. But I'm actually going to take this out while I do stamp it. And I'm actually going to pop this let me see I want to I'll, I'll keep this out as it is I think one of the tips that I've got for this that um is actually not to use the stamp set that comes with this the Eden uh Eden's Garden stamp set whilst it is a lovely stamp set this is the set it's a cling stamp set which makes it rather more difficult to see exactly where you're stamping when you've got something as intricate as this. So I've decided to bring in the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set and use the Happy Birthday to My Beautiful Friend. Because this is photopolymer, I'm going to be able to see exactly where I'm stamping. So I'm just going to grab myself a block. Don't really want too large a block, so let me take a stamp off there. And pop it, actually I'm going to pop it diagonally. It just sits a bit firmer on. And I'm just going to stand up so that I can double check and I can see through that that is going to fit within there. So I'm going to use my Calypso Coral ink for this. Um, but this idea will hold with any frame die like this. So any of the other frame dies that we've got or a larger frame die, you could do as well. And I just should have a pad underneath but I think I'll be all right with this so there we've got that and then what I'm going to do like I say I'm going to put this back in place I'm actually going to do it upside down so that I can pop my dimensionals or mini dimensionals on the back here and I am actually going to go I think the dimensionals will be will be fine. What I'm going to do is cover over a few places 
where I've got both pieces but I'm making sure sorry if my head's getting in the way there I'm just trying to make sure that I don't cover over any of the little gaps because I don't want people seeing the dimensionals through but like I say I just want to make sure that I am securing both of these together so just flip that around and that's plenty so that's going to hold the frame and the label together and we'll take those off at the moment i've just got this laid on top so that i can lifting off that one can actually then lay this through and it's quite nice because it sets it above and it doesn't matter if not every bit is held in place there's sufficient there to hold it and then i'm going to use some mini dimensionals on the back of this frame and they may even have to be snipped a little bit so i'm using them on the wider leaves again so that they're not going to be seen and I just want to make sure that I've got enough to support this frame. So like I say, this idea will hold for uh, any frame. Um, and you can, like I say, the, the, the tip really for this, uh, as well as sort of jigsawing them together to make the most of a couple of different colours, is to actually use photopolymer so that you can see where you're stamping uh, because the you've just got to be so precise otherwise with if you're using the cling stamps and when i die cut the center out of this i did actually die cut the frame as well and i'll just save that to use on another project um, but you could have just trimmed right up to the edge um, and had less wastage so i'm just going to pop that like i say around the other the main thing is to make sure that you've got your sentiment straight and there we've got framed sentiment that is um, jigsawed together so hopefully that idea gives you something to have a a look through your dies and find out whether you've got some frame dies that you could apply this to please do subscribe to my channel below to see a quick tip every friday and a quick card every monday thanks for stopping by